Hi, let me introduce the project we have been working on with uh, Johan um, during the Docker Hack Day. It's a Jenkins plugin we call Docker Slaves plugin. So this plugin is about uh, setting up a, a Jenkins executor relying on uh, Docker infrastructure. It's uh, actually an alternative to Jenkins Docker plugin. Let's first understand how Jenkins is managing a slave environment. So Jenkins do connect to the slave node, for example using SSH, and relies on the standard in and out uh, streams to uh, as a as a communication channel, so it can launch its slave agent and uh, communicate with it. Uh, first thing it does is set up the workspace for the project, uh, installing tools and things like that, and then. Each time a plugin or Jenkins itself has to run some commands on the slave, the code, the code fragment is actually sent on the channel to the slave agent and executed. And in most cases, this, this code will just trigger a process, for example, to uh, check out code, run various build tools, and so on. So let's now compare with the Docker plugin. So this one lets you define a custom Docker image to host your build. And what it actually does is to replace the slave node with a Docker container. But everything else is the exact same, connecting inside the container, in most cases using SSH, starting slave agent and running commands on inside this container. First thing you notice is that we are using here a container as a virtual machine. That means we will have multiple processes running inside the container. Uh, we don't isolate commands from each other. And second point, which in my humble opinion is a major one, is that you have some constraints on the image you are using. It has to be designed as a Jenkins slave Docker image with a specific user, with the SSH um, server running, and so on. So let's now introduce our new project, the Docker Slaves plugin. This one is using Docker Run, which already provide uh, streams to exchange commands with the slave. So we have standard in, standard out, uh, to communicate with the, the slave context. We use it to uh, bootstrap the Jenkins slave. This one will set up volume to host the build. And uh, when everything is set up, when Jenkins has to run some commands on the slave environment, we won't use the classic Jenkins way to delegate to the slave agent which will run the commands. We will use the plain Docker capability to run remote command using the docker CLI. So we will actually trigger execution of the command on the same docker host in a distinct container. So each command will run in a distinct container as you could expect it to. And the main benefits here is that we can run this command in a dedicated container image, which can be whatever you want to use. You don't need a GVM or anything specific. This new container will share the Jenkins vo uh, workspace volume, so you can access uh, tools you have, that have been installed. You can um, access the project workspace or the, the source code of your application and so on. It also shares network, so if you want to access another service running, it's just available in plain local host. And for every command that you run, we will run such a, a container that actually is uh, very lightweight. It's not much that just running a process. And the side benefit is that we can also run some third party container. We call them side containers. Uh, for example, to host your test resources, uh, database, web server, or whatever you need. Uh, for example, we can run uh, Selenium Docker image. So you don't need the XVNC plugin hack. You just have to run the adequate Docker image to have Selenium up and running and use it to run your Selenium tests. So 
we really think that we use containers the way they're supposed to be uh, to run isolated processes and let them communicate the way we want them to communicate. And the main benefits from a user point of view is that you don't have any constraint on the Docker image that you want to use for your build. You don't need to uh, include uh, SSH daemon. You don't need to have a specific user set. You don't even need to have a GVM installed on on your Docker image. Uh, for example, if you are a PHP, a Ruby, or whatever strange language you like, developer, uh, then you don't care to have a Java installed. So don't bother with that. So please give it a try and uh, give a feedback so we can improve the plugin. And uh, it's already available as a 1.0 beta version in uh, the experimental Jenkins update center. Thank you guys.